you so lucky to, lucky to be one up. Lucky. We'll be lucky if we're up. <laughs> we got it, we got it. Oh. First on T, 45th President of the United States. 45th and 47th. 47th, yes. yes. I love that. I love that. Mr. Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Trump National. Beautiful. Beautiful. What an easy game. I think it's pretty boring to be in the middle all the time. You want to keep it low. You so lucky to, lucky to be one up. We'll be lucky if we're up. First on T. 45th President of the United States. 45th and 47th. 47th. Yes. I love that. Yes. I love that. Mr. Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Trump National. Beautiful. Beautiful. What an easy game. I think it's pretty boring to be in the middle all the time. We've spoken um, ever since we unveiled it of uh, the policy approach we have to the DPRK. It's an approach that calls for a calibrated, practical uh, approach that is open to uh, and explores diplomacy with uh, the DPRK because uh, we believe and we know uh, that diplomacy is the most effective means to bring about our overriding objective and that's the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Now, I, I don't have to tell you, I don't have to tell anyone in this room uh, that uh, we have obviously seen provocations from the DPRK uh, in recent days uh, and recent, recent weeks. Uh, and so that is why we are continuing to take action alongside the international community uh, to prevent the advancement of the DPRK's WMD and ballistic missile programs. Uh, following recent launches, for example, I believe it was July, January 12th, uh, the Department of State and Treasury imposed sanctions on eight DPRK-linked individuals and entities for supporting the DPRK's uh, weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile-related programs. Uh, the, our U.S. Uh, ambassador to the U.N. also proposed U.N. sanctions uh, targeting some of those uh, entities. Uh, all the while, our commitment to our allies in the region, including uh, the ROK uh, and Japan remains ironclad. And our message to the DPRK has been consistent. You've heard me say this before, repeatedly, I think even this week. Uh, we harbor no hostile intent towards the D DPRK. We continue to seek dialogue with the DPRK. Uh, we remain prepared to meet with the DPRK without preconditions. Uh, we've repeatedly reached out to Pyongyang. Um, we have yet to receive a substantive response. It is up to the DPRK uh, to decide if they want to engage.